That's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Now take a look at the three underlined words. Each of those has two syllables. Make sure that you are pronouncing the first syllable in each of those loudest and longest. It's the primary stress syllable. So notice, awesome, really hold the first part longer. Really, happy, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. So the underlined words are your content words. They're the words that you must pronounce loudly and clearly for your message to be understood. The words that are not underlined are function words. They're really not very important to hear clearly. So you'll notice the that's, I'm, for, and you will go by relatively quickly and will tend to reduce in sound. And notice the contractions here. That's, short for that is, and I'm short for I am. So in speaking, we generally use contractions because it makes our speech faster and easier. Now let's take a look at some linking. We want to link together the S at the end of that with the A at the beginning of awesome. So that's consonant to vowel linking. That's awesome. And then we're also going to link together the M and the R here. Consonants linked to consonants. I'm really. And then we're going to link together the R at the end of four with the Y at the beginning of you. For you. One more quick thing to note. Make sure that you reduce for to fur. Okay, don't say for you. All overly pronounced. Pronounce it fur. For you. For you. It needs to go by quickly to maintain the correct rhythm of the sentence. That's awesome. I'm really happy for you. And in the first example, we have two separate sentences. So there are actually two focus words. Awesome is your focus word in the first part. That's awesome. And then you're gonna stop there. That's the end of the sentence. And then your other focus word is happy. Usually our focus words are at or toward the end of phrases. I'm really happy for you. So awesome and happy are louder and longer than all the other words. Now sentence two, when's the big day? The content words are all underlined, when, big, and day. They're important to say clearly and loudly so that I can understand the meaning of your sentence. The is not an important word, nor is is in the contraction when's. And notice we do contract that. Instead of saying when is the big day, when's the big day. Our focus word will be day. It's the most important word. It's this last one right here. When's the big day? Let's go ahead and link together the S here and the TH there. Consonant to consonant linking and the G and the D over here. Again, consonant to consonant. When's the big day? And our last sentence, sentence number three, are you gonna have a big wedding? Notice again, we have four function words, going, have, big, and wedding. But going to shortens to gonna. So it's actually gonna be the gonna that we're going to consider a content word, and we're gonna say that one a little bit louder and longer than the RU. Our focus word is wedding. That's the most important point of the whole sentence here, so that one needs to be louder and longer than everything else. Are you gonna have a big wedding? And here we'll go ahead and link together, consonant to consonant, are you, are you? gonna have a consonant to vowel linking there and big wedding consonant to consonant are you gonna have a big wedding 